Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Accordions and Cigars. Today, I'm going to be smoking the brand new Arturo Fuente Eye of the Bull. And if you want to know why it's called that, this is why. And they call it Bullseye. <laughs> That's where they got the name from. It's pretty cool, huh? So this is, uh, the wrapper is Cameroon. And Cameroons have uh, come to be a pretty good favorite uh, wrapper of mine. They have a uh, pretty good flavor uh, profiles. The uh, stick itself, it's very short. In the nine years I've been smoking, I don't think I've ever smoked one that small. Um, Cigarello, but of course an actual cigar of this magnitude. Uh, it's a three and a half by 55. The wrapper is African Cameroon. The binder and filler are Dominican. It's a nice uh, milk chocolate wrapper. Looks like it's a triple cap. Not many, some veins, no uh, major veins, tight invisible seams. Ooh, that's a unique smell. Oh, what is that? There's a, there's a sweet note to it. I want to say it reminds me of... In Italian, we call it panettone, which is basically like Christmas. It's the it's the candy bread. You got the bread; it has the candy, and also has the dried fruit. It smells like the dried fruit. It smells really good. I wouldn't mind uh, the humidor smelling like that. Yeah, it's really good. Love it. I'll take this uh, this band off. All right. I think we'll do a V cut this time. Oh, almost dropped it. <laughs> yep, perfect. <laughs> All right, give this a go. This is probably going to be a short review unless it's a very slow burner for a little one, but we'll see what happens. And again, I'd like to thank everybody for. I now have 15 subscribers, so thank you very much. Um, Spanish Eyes is still the big whopping view video on the channel. There's over uh, 400 reviews. I think it might even be five now. So I want to thank you all for that. <coughs> Wind blew the smoke the wrong way. Ooh. I taste vanilla. That very good start. <laughs> very rare that I taste vanilla in a cigar. Very smooth. I got the vanilla. Something else sweet is coming in. Can't really pinpoint it, but I'll think about it. <clears throat> the smoke is... Um, hmm. Very airy. Man, I love that. That's... That's... That tastes very good. So far, it's dessert-like. So... Draw is perfect. No, um, it's not uh, resistance or it's not too much. It's perfect. The aroma just smells like, there's a hint of sweetness on that too. It smells really good. Yeah, the sweet, uh, the vanilla is still there. The finish, there's a, a little hint of a spice. It's not overpowering. And the finish is still there. It's in the back of the throat. Love it. Very good start. Well, we will come back. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how this is going to be. If it's going to be a short review or what. But maybe we'll come back. Usually I'll do like 10, 15 minutes. Maybe we'll do five minutes and we'll see if anything changes.
All right, we are 15 minutes in. Um, the ash is nice and tight. Burn is almost razor sharp, and you can see it's almost at the band, so I'm gonna have to take it off. Um, the flavors uh, between each puff, they change, which is pretty pretty neat. And it keeps me intrigued and, uh, and uh, happy, put it that way. So the first puff, like the last one that I just took, it goes back and forth between the vanilla and then it goes the next one the vanilla will be gone and you'll get more of the spicy uh which is more um i want to say it's more on the cinnamon uh profile that i'm i'm getting um it leaves that your mouth kind of like that feeling of after you eat dinner and you pop a, a a mint you know at a restaurant and you just get that that fresh little bite of heat from a peppermint and that's what i'm getting so it goes back and forth it's really neat and um the finish it uh, lingers on the peppermint and there's a couple other few spices in there that i can't i can't unfortunately pick out but everything is subtle it's very smooth so far i'm still would consider this like a like a dessert steak so this would be great with a cup of coffee espresso or if you have uh dessert if you have a piece of cake or pie or whatever and then you have a smoke afterwards with the coffee or whatever it'd be perfect yeah i'm really digging the smoke yeah see now the not the the vanilla just came back and before it wasn't <laughs> it's like it alternates so it's pretty neat gotta hand it to him yeah i think um if it keeps like this it's uh gonna be really good all right, well, we shall come back, and that's probably going to be the last uh, cut of the video, but we'll see if anything else transitions. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. This is 40 minutes in. Uh, you got to love how Fuente's ashes always uh, hold on. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, I got to call it good because... I gotta hold it like this, and it's burning my fingers, it's burning my, my lips, but uh, about towards here when I took the band off, the um, va the vanilla went away, and so did the cinnamon, and it developed into a really nice dark coffee. And then up to where I'm smoking now, the vanilla came back. But this is one of those instances where they do make a, what they call, they're like cigar picks, where you can pick it and you can hold it and then still smoke it as far as you can. But I don't have one because it's very rare for me to run across a cigar that I want to smoke all the way down as far as I can. But yeah, it's just, but I, I really enjoyed the stick. Um, I picked it up at Cigar Club in Modesto for $26. So, you know, cigars are a luxury. Uh, the, there's thousands and thousands of cigars out there to cater to everyone's palate and you know with times as they are stupid fly with times as they are you know some you know some people can't afford you know an expensive stick like this and you know I did a little research and some people were saying oh it's too much blah 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 it is what it is you know and you know will I buy another one I probably will I'll probably buy a couple but of course again you can probably use it as a as like a special occasion cigar or you know just because you're you had a good work week or you just want to celebrate you know so i'm gonna take one more puff out of it hold it as I can. <coughs> yeah yeah that's what happens <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad the vanilla had to come all the way at the end, but it is what it is. Well, this is Bruno Siri with Accordions and Cigars, enjoying the brand new Eye of the Bull. I hope um, you enjoyed this review. Give me a like and a subscribe, and we will see you next time. Take care.